Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs. Today we are diving back into my baseball card personal collection. This is, of course, Hall of Famers, Stars, and uh, this is part two. We last left off with Chipper Jones. So we are going to be going again in uh, alphabetical order by first name. So we begin things with Craig Biggio. Of course, he is a Hall of Famer now. I've not yet managed to get any Craig Biggio rookies into my personal collection. Definitely something that I'm going to be uh, looking to do in the future. Here's a old score. It's pretty dinged up. You can see. Can't remember where I got that one out of. Collector's Choice there. 95 Select. Old Tops Chrome. So nothing too crazy there for Craig Biggio. This next guy is not a Hall of Famer, but I do have his rookie, and we have Kurt Schilling. Of course, uh, Kurt Schilling will always have a special place in my heart as a Red Sox fan. Uh, somebody once posed the question on Twitter, um, if you could have any piece of sports memorabilia, what would it be? And I think I probably would go with the Kurt Schilling Bloody Sock. That was a huge moment in Boston sports folklore. Here's kind of a random Hall of Famer. This is Cy Young. Camera, okay, some insert of some sort there. And another one, speaking of Boston, Dave Bancroft. Another Hall of Famer on deck. Here's Dave Winfield. Of course, uh, looks like we will be having baseball coming up here soon. Not sure how people feel about that. There's 90 tops traded. The uh, MLB and MLBPA did not do themselves any favors with the fans after six weeks of negotiating and then uh, ending up uh, there's an insert there from the 93 Fleer Final Edition set ending up with the same amount of games as was initially uh, introduced back in what March I believe it was as a reprint 60 years of tops and there's some Cooperstown collection Dave Winfield um, so yeah this whole time they've been negotiating it um, hasn't made them look too good personally this is uh, David Ortiz here personally it's um, never a, a good look when you have millionaires and billionaires arguing over petty things there's a uh, I think that's 08 upper deck X let's see the back here that's correct 09 icons there. Bowman Platinum. 2010 Allen and Ginter. This day in history is an insert. Here's some tops update. I think David Ortiz will get into the Hall of Fame. Of course, uh, like I said, I'm a Red Sox fan, so definitely a little bit biased there. One of the best clutch history, uh, hitters in MLB history. Kind of hard to argue that. The man also has three World Series rings. And uh, here's the last two, David Ortiz. I know his uh, name has been linked with performance enhancing drugs. However, um, I'm not sure how solid that proof is. It's a Deion Sanders rookie card. I don't know if that, that might be the clear glossy no I think it's just update more Deion Sanders of course he's not a Hall of Famer but uh, not on the baseball side of things at least uh, here's his 90 upper deck rookie where he is in his football jersey it looks like don't ever remember him wearing 
the headband while on the baseball diamond because you have to wear a baseball cap, so wouldn't make much sense there. And we round off our first stack with another Hall of Famer, Dennis Eckersley. There's 87 tops, followed by 88 Fleer, 90 Bowman, 90 Donruss. So you see a lot of the same sets here in my personal collection. There's not too many, um, I guess, outliers, you know, like, I guess this is, see, I wouldn't even really call that an outlier. Tops Gold, Just some Collector's Joyce. I think that's a 99 tradition, clear tradition, and here's Eckersley and Andrew Bailey tops timeless talents. Yeah, most of the cards that I have are, um, you know, I get them out of pulling from wax boxes and things of that nature. Here is a new Hall of Famer, Derek Jeter. That is 95 collector's choice, rookie class. Not actually his rookie. And here's a Derek Jeter insert that comes with those marsupial cards that you could get out of the baseball prime packs from the Walgreens. They are the uh, singles that you will see on display in the front of those boxes. Or at least they used to be. Used to be a lot of them. I believe this is a reprint as well. It is the cards your mom threw out with Nomar and A-Rod there. And there's Derek Jeter and Robbie Cano. A few more Jeters here. Of course, no Jeter rookies in my collection. Uh, to get a box of, say, 93 tops right now is just absurd because people are looking for the Jeter rookie, so have not got one yet. Don't think I've ever owned one, honestly. Um, I did at one point have, um, like, this prospect card, but I think that was, like, 95 upper deck uh, prospects, so I don't, it wasn't even technically a rookie card. Here's another guy who should be in the Hall of Fame, I believe. Donnie Baseball. Might be a Red Sox fan, but, you know, I can, I can acknowledge and respect the quality players of the game who've worn the pinstripes, such as Jeter and Don Mattingly. Other guys I uh, can't really respect, like A-Rod. This is, uh, what is that one? It's a hit parade of champions there. It's a 86 tops reprint. That's another 60 years of tops there. Here's a 19 gallery or 18 gallery. Parallel, and then 84 tops design of Donnie Mattingly there. This Don here is in the Hall of Fame. There's Don Sutton. This is his 83 tops. It's uh, 86 Donruss, I believe. 87 tops there. 88 Fleer. There he is with the gray hair at the end of his career. And there he is again looking like a grandpa. 89 tops. Don Sutton there. For some reason, I hang on to certain players of these Cooperstown, such as Duke Snyder. Another uh, classic Hall of Famer here, Eddie Matthews. Nothing too spectacular out of there. Another Cooperstown. And here's another Hall of Famer, Eddie M. This is Eddie Murray, there's 86 Tops All-Star, 88 Donruss and 88 Fleer. Eddie Murray kind of jumped around a little bit uh, there in the late 80s and uh, into the mid-90s to end his career with a few teams. Of course, we've seen him uh, so far depicted with the Orioles, Mets, and Dodgers. And then here he is with the Indians. There's a checklist there. Eddie Murray from 95 Collector's Choice. A couple inserts here and a 17 Donruss insert. No team logos on the Donruss, of course. 
Here's a decent rookie to lead this guy off, Hall of Famer Edgar Martinez. There's his 90 Fleer and 90 score. As you can see, a lot of my PC, like I said, the same kind of sets, things I pick up in wax boxes, and the uh, collection I bought off uh, my buddy Molly had a couple of complete sets in there of like 07 tops and the like. There's an awaiting the call, of course, Edgar Martinez has since gotten that call. That is an insert from 2013 Pinnacle. There's another Hall of Famer, Ernie Banks, a couple of tops inserts. Again, nothing too crazy out of there. Another Hall of Famer here is Fergie Jenkins. This one's pretty beat up. This is uh, Baseball Legends by Pacific. Um, I think that came out of one of those Walgreens boxes. The uh, $5 version. Here's Frank Robinson. It's an 86 tops turn back the clock. Here's a short print of Frank Robinson. Here's the Robinson Boys of the Bird Belters. The Baltimore Orioles there, of course. And a couple more Frankie R's. Before we get into our final stack here of this part of my baseball PC, here's another Hall of Fame Frank, and we've got some of his rookies. This is the 90 Bowman Frank Thomas rookie, and the 90 score Frank Thomas rookie. This one this one might be a 10. That one is in pretty good shape. And honestly, this Bowman one is not too bad either. A little off center, uh, top to bottom. But this score one is in really good shape. I mean, even the centering on the back is not not perfect, but it's not not too bad at all. There's 92 score. There's his Dream Team big bat card. A lot of people remember that one. Some more mid 90s. Another. Another beat up score one. I think that was out of the collection I bought there. It's 95 collector's choice. AL MVP that year. Here's a odd looking cartoon card out of that collector's choice there. There's some 96 score. Some uh, pretty pretty looking Tops Finest Frank Thomas there. Another of those card supial minis. Jeff Bagwell and Frank Thomas depicted there. It's 98 tops. There's some more stars. There's that 07 tops we were talking about. Variant of the 09 Gaudi there. Here is the short print that we got out of our tops gallery rip a few weeks back. And their final Frank Thomas is the 150 years of fun out of 19 opening day. Hall of Fame backstop here, Gary Carter. May he rest in peace. There's 88 Donruss and 88 Fleer. Again, a lot of the same sets. There's the 90 Bowman. Had picked up the complete 90 Bowman set off the card dealer at the indoor flea market, which is honestly where I've been getting the majority of my baseball cards. Um, his wax boxes are still fairly priced. 92 Ultra, so we pulled that out of our 92 Ultra Series 2 box rip. There's a reprint there. Another 60 years of tops. Always feel the need to clarify those. Here's a commemorative all-rookie team patch for Gary Carter. Of course, um, a lot of people don't really care for the commemorative patches just because they're manufactured. There's 20 Donruss. Gary Carter, no variation on that one. Hall of Fame pitcher here, Gaylord Perry. Of course, that's Ted Williams' collection there. And here is a short print from that I think it's 08 Gaudi. I can't quite remember. Let's uh, take a look. Here we go. 08 Gaudi. There's the variant, the mini of the short print there. Only a couple of Gaylord Perry cards. I don't have anything really prior to, um, like, those 83 tops like I had of Don Sutton. Hall of Famer George Brett here. Might be most known for his, uh, reaction to getting tossed for having too much pine tar, uh, 
a game back in, what was that, 86? I'm not sure, someone will correct me. If it was 86, I was only one year old, so... Not something I'm super familiar with, but I've seen the highlight plenty of times, as I'm sure other people have. There's another insert from the 93 Fleer Final Edition box set. That was 93 OPG there, 95 Collector's Choice, another 95 Collector's Choice, two Hall of Famers there, I believe that was both of their final years. 2016 Bunt, we pulled that here on the channel, you can of course go back and check that out, another Franchise Feats, and another 2020 Donruss. Only a couple more names to go here, keeping it on the pitching mound with Hall of Famer Rich Goose Gossage and we're gonna run the gamut of uh, teams that he played for here starting with the Padres there onto the Yankees Rangers Athletics and then the Mariners with his 95 collector's choice card there another Hall of Fame hurler here here's a solid rookie here even though it's got a slight soft corner Greg Maddox there. There's 88 Donruss and then 88 Fleer. Here's 89 Fleer and this is the glossy set. So uh, put something on there just to, so I don't forget that's the glossy version. 89 tops there, 90 Bowman, some more 90 Donruss and 90 Fleer. On to 90 score. That was another complete set that I had Picked up here is a 91 Fleer. See, it's got a bit of a stain on the top right there, which uh, I think I talked about on the channel previously. I bought that unsealed 91 Fleer set from the card vendor at the indoor flea market, and it uh, had been searched and a bunch of the cards were damaged. Uh, so when I went back and told him, he gave me the 95 Collector's Choice. Uh, set but it was unsealed so it was like you know thanks for giving me this but I'm not sure if giving me something else unsealed is the best thing thankfully the collector's choice set was not searched here we have hammer and hank aaron this is a variant from uh 99 tops i believe there's a couple different versions of that card Here's another Topps Hank Aaron reprint. And then the last one is Hammer and Hank with Jason Hayward, who hasn't quite turned out to be what everybody thought he could be, although he's still had a pretty decent career. Just hasn't been the light em up superstar that some expected. Kind of a, I guess, controversial Hall of Famer here. Harold Baines, here's a pretty interesting M&M's card, only because uh, a lot of people don't think Baines belongs in the Hall of Fame. Um, honestly, if I if I had a vote, I'd, I don't know if I, he would be in there, but I think um, if you are kind of, I don't want to say lowering the bar to get Baines in, that means you need to uh, let some other guys in that had better careers than him that have not made it, so that kind of opened the floodgates a little bit there. There's a 93 Leaf. We're getting to our final few cards here. Some more 95 Collector's Choice there. And then 97, no, that's 98 tops. So here's our final player here for part two. Nothing uh, too crazy here. This is Hannes Wagner. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this card out of 92 score. They did this for a few Hall of Famers, such as Honus Wagner. Here is an insert before there was Tops, And then the final one is from Topps Big League 2018. So that is it for part two of my baseball card personal collection. We still have probably three more parts to go. So thank you for tuning in everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and give it the thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, 
hit that subscribe button down below. Again, thanks for watching everybody, and we will see you next time here on Headlocks and Hot Packs.